Welcome back to Factorio, folks. We are joined, as always, by ST Hedgehog. Hello, hello. And what are you up to? Uh, pulling apart tape. Pulling apart what? Uh, makes it a bit weird. Uh, tanks. I'm, I'm trying to remove a lot of these petroleum tanks that mm -hmm. I've got. And trying to thin it down so I don't have as many. Okay. Because that's obviously been a problem that we've had. So uh, I wanted to just uh, pretty much do away with them and maybe only have one or two. Mm -hmm. In fact, I think I could probably get away with just having the one. I'm not entirely sure whether this is going to work or not. I messed this up everywhere. I really hope I didn't. What are you up to? What are you, uh... Uh, I think I'm figuring out that I totally screwed up all my, <laughs> all, all my, uh, uh, beacon builds. Oh? I that put... That not sound good. No. I put too much space between the... <laughs> oh, crap! The, um... The undergrounders. Oh, okay. Oh, man! I really hope that's not the case over at everything else that I'm making. Oh, I'm gonna cry if it is. Seriously, I'm gonna cry if it is. It'll be fine. Can I squeeze more in there? Oh, I can. That is really pushing my luck, though. So we're getting those. I really need two belts, though. One for reds, one for greens, because the greens t take so many. But I can do two belts. Can do two belts. You can. I can. Uh, no, so uh, that, that's another problem. Uh, uh, I have a lot of problems, uh, ah. and, and not so many solutions. It, it's a real problem. Another one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I can. I, I. Uh... I understand. Uh, let's make an upgrade planner. And I want to say from yeah. So, so I think I need to do things a little bit differently. Maybe not everywhere. Thank God. That would be... Then I'd really start crying. Uh... Oh, there's another volume. Yay. <laughs> okay. Uh... Right. Why aren't you pumping? Are these full? Okay, so... Right, we are using petroleum in another place though, I know we are. 
if we are here. So we are making that's what I missed. A few processing units now. A few. And a few is a start. It is indeed. Man, I lost my blueprints as well. Uh... Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay. Oh, no, that's not going that way. Ah, no. Uh. Mm. You click to that. Okay, and then this should start working again, shouldn't it? If it's less than 20,000, turn on that part. Okay. I think that should be okay. Having six. Let's come out. I wonder if you create a blueprint where you have put an upgrade planner on. Ah. Uh, will it do what's planned or what is actually there? It'll do what's actually there. Okay, that sucks. But it makes sense. But if you use an upgrade planner on a ghost, then it'll actually upgrade it to say, hey, I I, I want the upgraded one. That's pretty ah. cool. That's right, yeah. Okay, we're still not making anywhere near enough petroleum. All of these are running, 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 running. Maybe I need to put in more, more of those, and then fill these down a bit more. Because, uh, like these oil tanks, I've got so many oil tanks here, and I really don't need them. But let's just take reds and greens as well. So if I copy, okay. So, do processing units over to here and then do. Um, hmm. And I'm going to need more space. Oh, that's close. I am going to need more space. I thought we'd built a big base, but I need more space. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking that. I thought, I've got loads of space here. I'm sure I've got loads of areas for doing all this fuel stuff. The uh, uh, thing is, you're packing a lot into one place, aren't you? Yeah. So, expand. Just expand. Go up. Go down. Yeah, that's a possibility. I, I don't, I don't understand those beacon things. Uh, so, well, let me show you. Uh, okay, you'll have to give me a moment because uh, I need to. Hopefully sort this out and not get it messed up. I need to put it there. 
Ah, oh, jeez. So the one there. That's not needed. You're coming down. You're not needed. You're coming down. You are not needed. What were you for? Oh you for actually for that. Oh okay. there hopefully that won't completely stifle my water no I think we're okay for water we are dead in electricity again yep that is butted right up against there but Three, six, nine, twelve, eighteen, twenty-one. We got twenty-four uh, oil refineries. Oh, cool! And then I'm pumping into loads of tanks. I really don't need to be pumping into. Them. I might. Twenty-four. How how do you get it to twenty-four? Three, six, seven, eight, twelve. Isn't it twenty five? Seven. No, 14, no, twenty four. My, my math brain is not working today. Twenty one. There's twenty one there. Twenty one. <laughs> okay. So yeah. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, and twenty one. Yeah. Twenty one. That's still pretty damn good. Uh. And hopefully, we're still not filling up on petroleum and gas. But hopefully that's going to help a little bit. Yeah. Because we're using way more petroleum than than we are uh, producing right now. Lubricant is full. Sulfuric acid is full. Looks as if sulfur is doing pretty well, actually. Yeah. It's explosives and batteries that are struggling. Let's go and have a look. See, why are explosives and batteries struggling? Uh, explosives are—they're not struggling. They just take a long time to build. Mm -hmm. And batteries are the same. Yeah, it's just purely time. Yeah, so you might have to extend the batteries up. I got a double here, and I did not need it. I know I didn't need it. Double line of what? Water. I, I yeah. ran a double line of water in, and then I squeeze it all into one pipe. It's like there's no, mm. it's not. But then I am tapping off of it in different places, so yeah, fine. It's fine. But we're probably going to need more batteries than that. Oh yeah, probably. A lot more actually. But uh, we'll uh, get to that when we need it. Spanned up. We'll see this cup, this copper, as copper, this coal. There's 40 mm. million there. I was like, oh yeah, when the coal goes, I'll just expand upwards. <laughs> 40 million coal. We're yeah. not going to use that. No, that that's going to take a while. Yeah. That's going to take a while. Plastic, we are capped out on. Perfect. I think, I think pretty much batteries are the only thing that's really struggling. Hmm. But I could probably extend the batteries now, to be honest with you. Uh, yeah, yeah, there there um, is room to expand, uh, extend them. There is room to extend them, so it should be okay. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Let's disconnect the water. Go control copy, then grab that. 
paste it. Do Do you want to see the uh, the beacon thing? It, it takes uh, one yeah, minute I, to I, show you. I shall come over in just a moment. Uh, let me just connect this battery thing up. Uh, that's not gonna even out now, is it? Do that. Enough power. Be fine. Let's try uh, right. that. Yeah, there we go. That should once that once they put them down, that should work terribly because we got enough. We don't have enough power, but yeah. Hey ho! <laughs> <laughs> I think that's probably going to have to be your next project. Yes, yeah, well, I'm, I'm happy now. The oil, as far as I'm concerned, the oil is, is done. It just needs expanding in certain places. But yeah. it's done. It's got a bit of logic set up saying that, you know, hey, if petroleum's low, then I want you to run. And they're not running. Why are they not running? <gasps> I know why they're not running. Quick, before I walk away. Right. Plug the electricity back in. Uh, plug the water back mm. in. Ah, yeah. Good idea. Yeah, kind of difficult to get a system working without any... Without the ingredients. Without the water, yeah. That is only one of the pipes connected, though. That's annoying. Oh, I can connect both, can't I? Yeah, it's easy enough. There we go. Yep. There we are. Okay, all connected. Right. I don't know where the train's going. What train? Uh, I just jumped to the train. Don't know. Oh, okay. Just, it, it was coming by. It was coming by, so I just jumped in it. Thought, yeah, okay. that's a good idea. It's going to take me somewhere exciting. It's, it's an empty one. It's going to pick up some iron plates by the looks of it. Yeah. Uh, still production isn't working. <laughs> oh. What's going on there? Ah, you've done exactly the same here. Uh, the iron plate. I have? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, there. So, just the normal signals, isn't it? Uh, no, actually, the. Uh... Oh, is it the chain ones? Yeah. And then the chain okay. one in the middle there as well, where it's uh, coming together, because else they will go up there and wait at the normal one. That's. Uh thought they'd stop there because it's blue well blue means that there's something open yeah they can go north or south yeah yeah maybe let's try it i i at the copper i have one in in the middle there a blue thingy so maybe that's yeah wrong. yeah but th this train came up and parked right there and i was like well if you park there that's not yeah. ideal. No, then you you're blocking, yeah. Up. Yeah, true. True. What's that train? That's a copper train? Yeah. It's a copper or drop off. Um, hmm. 
seriously thinking of moving everything north. <clears throat> yeah, I think when it comes to the copper ore pickup, the copper plate pickup. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you, you've connected it to the the least used ones first. <laughs> yeah, I have. I have. But didn't you? Uh, it didn't work. The thing with with the uh, the chest, the logics thing. Uh it probably would work now, actually, if I said, you know, this chest is over a certain amount. Mm -hmm. Then don't come down here. That's that's probably doable, and I am here, and I could probably do that right now. Give it yeah. a try, shall we? Yeah. So we'll go just this end chest to there, and then you to there. We're gonna watch what. Uh... The hedgehog um, is doing. Uh, oh yeah, and then I will definitely come down to you for the beacon. Sorry, I've been distracted. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Uh, so if copper is greater than, oh, what's that in there? Uh, should we say two thousand? Yeah, why not? Is there room for two thousand in the chest? Yeah, two point five thousand. Uh, yeah. yeah. Then we're going to output one on copper. Okay, and then you. Are going to close the signal on copper equals zero. Yeah. No, copper equals one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, if there's more than 2,000 in the chest, that can equals one set. Okay. You go. Shoo. Shoo. Okay. Train is left, and the signal oh. is still red. Yeah. And it went over there. Perfect. So all I need to do is control and copy uh, that. And then just paste it in every location. And it should automatically set up all the logic for me. Very nice. Except for maybe the last two or something. Because where are they going to go if... Uh, well, if all the coppers fill up, then obviously they'll they'll go to the parking bays and park there. Oh yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. So we'll do that, yeah. And it's all reading just that one chest in the corner, so hopefully it won't mess up and that chest will empty and the rest will be full. Yeah. But then the trains are set to only wait 30 seconds anyway and, and leave, so... Yeah. But yeah, so this should now have all of these turned off. And only have the last two available. Oh, which yeah. means we should get a train parked. There we go. Oh, and there's a train up there. Why did the train go up there? Why? Is, they should stay in the parking base. That, that, that signal shouldn't be there. Oh, I suppose not. But I guess it's okay that one of the trains go up goes up there. Actually, yeah, it's not, it's not terrible. They could do that. That's, that's but they should all park down here. Yeah. And then, as and when they become available, mm -hmm. the train will go on. Yeah. I don't know where you're going, train. It's going over there. Why did it choose to go there? And... Why did you choose to do that? You should not have done that. Mm. The... That's random. That, that train should not have moved. Well, that's weird. Uh, excuse me just a second. Uh, someone's at the door. I'll be right back. Okie dokie. I shall keep an eye on this. Right. You train. Go. Go to your next, next stop. What's going on? You're going to leave there. You're going to come along into there. 
Why are you moving? Oh, you will move to there. Okay. Recording. Uh, why are you moving? All right, I'm you back. Oh, I know why. I know why. Why is it doing? I haven't used chain signals on the ah on the base. <laughs> there we go. I use normal signals. Okay, that makes sense. That that, that should fix that one over there. That probably means that the uh, that my iron one as well. Mm -hmm. My iron's wrong. Yeah, it is. Okay. Right, let me come down and look at these beacons. All right. Well, you don't actually have need to come down here, I guess. Uh, well, I'll do. Uh, so, where do we want to... I see he's got a beacon symbol on him. Yeah, okay. so where, where about are you? I'm over at the green the, circuits. The yellow flashiness. You're there. Alright. So, hello. Hello. So you can see that uh, the beacon that you're standing next to, when you hover your mouse over it, it gives a little area that it reaches, right? Yep. And it reaches the uh, assembling machine. And yeah, in, this one. Yeah, the one just north of it. Yeah. And in this beacon, you have two speed module twos, which each give a speed of plus 30 percent right and so those two speed modules alone give it uh, plus 60 percent speed uh, the assembling machine and if you hover your mouth uh, your mouse over the uh, assembling machine you can see that it has a crafting speed of plus 210 percent yep and that's getting it from from all the different beacons that are around there and also the two efficiency modules uh, in the machine which each reduce the energy consumption by 40 percent so they don't speed it up but they reduce the energy consumption the speed modules they increase the energy consumption by 60 percent okay okay so they yeah so you have to put the efficiency modules in to compensate a bit for the power, otherwise we're yeah. uh, dead. Yeah. Exactly. And that explains uh, the spikes, because you've got a few of these beacons. Uh, yeah, uh, but uh, nowhere near enough. I mean, you can see all the yellow blinking stuff. That's beacons needing uh, modules. Right. What's this blue symbol? Uh, oh, sorry. The uh, that that's uh, that it's missing missing well it's it's called an item request slot you can actually hover your mouse over it yep and it says item request slot so it's requesting the two speed module twos but we don't have any so so it's requesting uh, something that it doesn't have how did you do that, uh, that I, I think it's only a beacon thing Okay. But, 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 uh, uh, so I, I built the, uh, the blueprint with the beacons, right? And, and when I pasted that down, then it knew that, okay, I want, uh, these, uh, modules in it. Ah, because the reason I ask is if I go over here. Where was I? It was the first one I come to. Uh, yeah, here. Uh, these are the symbol of the assembly machines. Oh yeah, and that's because they were pasted down with. Uh, I want efficiency modules, but we don't have any. Right. Okie dokie. So that's what. That, okay. I wonder what the blue thing was, but yeah. Okay. So that's why they're all flashing because the beacons are down. Yeah. Munching on our power, but doing nothing. Yeah. 
But I don't right. actually know how much power a beacon uses without modules in it. 480 kilowatts uh, and 480 kilowatts when it's got stuff inside it. Okay. Yeah, 480 and 480, yeah. So our demand is like three times what we're actually generating. <laughs> yeah. So you have a wonderful new project for the next episode. I do, because we are pretty much out of time for this one. Yep. Okay. Yeah. And I'm gonna try as I said, I'm gonna try and do it uh without using Google. Mm -hmm. Without uh any uh things for it. Because I I get how they work now. Now now I've pasted one down and seen how it goes. I get how they work. Yeah. Sounds interesting. I'm just not sure whether we should build a couple of baby ones or one gigantic one. Because uh, the largest yeah. you can build is three by three. Is that right? No. I don't know. Because you need to have access to this, to one side of it to get the heat one. But then you could build a three by three and the center generator would just be purely for uh, uh, generating heat. Mm -hmm. And they they do get uh, adjacency bonuses, right? So yeah, yeah. So even though the center one wouldn't be connected to any heat pipe, it would be connected to the other reactors. Yeah. I might have to have a play with that and find out whether reactors have to be right adjacent to each other or whether they can be. Uh, I I think they need to be connected to each other. Ah, right. Okay. But I suppose you could do a, a, a three by three, yeah, uh, or a, uh, well, eight in a unit, right? Maybe. No, uh, that wouldn't work. I'm just gonna because I remember reading the wiki for the factory for the the power. Mm -hmm. uh, and do, 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 do. how about a two by four? Maybe. Yeah, two two reactors. Uh, so they produce forty megawatts each. Mm -hmm. If you put two next to each other, um, they get a hundred percent bonus. Mm -hmm. so two together is eighty, plus the hundred percent bonus is is one hundred and sixty. Yeah. Uh, How about making a two by four? Yeah, a two by four would give you. A lot more. Uh, I don't know how that would work exactly, because uh, it wouldn't just be a doubling that one there, because you're also doubling. Yeah, you're doubling the... everything, right? Doubled, so that'd be like you, you have to square it or something. Yeah. So, so if I if I put because that those four are generating five hundred twelve or five hundred whatever it is, uh, mm -hmm. one hundred eight, one hundred twenty each. If you put another one on the side of it, that would give it up to 300 and whatever. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's something that you have to play a bit with. But uh, it's a good thing that you like playing with it. I do. I do enjoy nuclear power and other bits and pieces. But it's also finding out how much heat that produces, for how much steam, for how much space you need. For yeah, but I do think to rebuild this, I would not have it this way. I'd only have like one layer of storage tanks for steam, mm -hmm. rather than two or three. Uh, yeah, or maybe even have it just a. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to build something myself. Uh, and we'll see. Okay. We'll see. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. But I suppose we'll have to leave that for here and uh, come back next time. Yeah. I suppose we will. I suppose we will. So, yeah. All right, so uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time, or we'll see you next time.
<laughs> Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> <Have fun. laughs> All right.